video yang will create a sword slash effect with visual shader there are three different version we will first make this one so i first what screen with an animation for this sword you can make it yourself now add the machine stance node and create a plan the size depends on your sword here the size is 7 by 7 Then on the material, click shader, then click visual shader. Change the color mode to disable. Let's start with noise, add texture, then create noise texture. Change the resolution to 657 by 657. Then add gradient texture. Then create a color up node. Now add the round node and connect to alpha. Then rotate 90 degrees. Now it's time to animate. Add UV node. Then add add node and vector uniform. Change the vector uniform to offset. Then change x to minus one. Then click the key button. Change it to zero and click the key button again. Maybe we can make it a little better by changing the gradient. Now it's time to change the color. Add multiply node and color constant node. Now change the color to array. Then connect to albedo and emission to make it look bright. Now we'll make this less mess to look curved. Now I'll enable rotation decrease. Duplicate them. 
dan change offset to the gradient offset dan connect and make gradient offset change it to minus 1 dan klik the key button dan change it to 0 here and here Now we will make the solve effect. Add vector uniform. Name it the solve. Then add multiply. Then can. Then change 0 0.8 to 111. Then press the key button. Change 0 0.3 to 000. zero zero. Change it to clean look and tap and finish. Second version. Just to let the solve and multiply, then connect. Go to 1, then change gradient offset to minus 1, then click the key button. Third version. Not so select effect in games like this. To make it click in serial material. Change the color mode to disable. Go to one then remove slash mesh from the parent. Now our slash mesh is not moving. Modify our sword animation. Add gradient texture. Then make the gradient for white. Then add black and make sure this foil is at fair edge. Add the left too. Add vector add. Add UV and vector uniform. Then name it offset. Connect RGB to alpha. Go to 0 0.5. Change the offset to 1. 0 0.75. And here minus 0 0.1 And here minus 1 Now I just add the texture Finally, the tutorial is complete Yeah, you can make a confusion and make it sweeter than mine Thank you for watching.